everybody! I'm Miss Karen from Adams Memorial Library. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm showing you the first of three parts of our November Inquire Within series that we're doing with WQED, our friends at WQED, and we are powered by Clearview Federal Credit Union. So we are doing three different activities in November, an art activity, a science activity, and a Thanksgiving activity. But when you come to the library, either you can come into the library and pick up your kit or you can get it through curbside service and we'll just bring it right out to your car. But you get a kit that'll have bags for all three of these videos. So you can watch the videos, you can follow along and do the activities too. So today, like I said, it's gonna be the art part. And we're gonna be making fall leaf sun catchers. And so here are some that I did different leaves. If you want, you can hang these on a window and that's how they're going to be sun catchers. You can just put them on a table. You can just use them for decorations however you want. You can make a whole lot of them. You can make a wreath out of them. So whatever you want to do is fine. But I'll show you how I made these and we will get started. So let me tell you what's going to be in the kit. We're going to give you some of this stuff so you can do your art project at home. We are going to give you a pipette to pick up the water and a cup to put some water in. We're gonna give you some little cups that you can put a uh, different kind of paint in. You can add some food coloring and some water and use that to color your leaves. You can decide what you would like to do with that. You can put water in those, whatever you want. We're going to give you a piece of cardboard and some scrap paper because this craft is a little bit messy and you have to make sure that you cover all the surfaces and protect them because the color will come right through these, these coffee filters, which are just made of tissue paper. That's how they work as sun catchers, but that's also what makes them a little bit messy. So we're gonna give you something to protect your surfaces. We're gonna give you wax paper, which is here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's wax paper here. We're gonna give you a plate that you can use to transport your um, leaves onto the wax paper to dry. You can use that as your work surface, whatever you like. But we're also going to give you a set of watercolor paints. You can use that. So, and you'll have the template and you'll have some uh, tissue paper coffee filters. You will also need a pencil and scissors. And I also use some markers and some food coloring. So if you'd like to do that, you can do that at home. If you have other paints you wanna try, that's fine. You can try anything you want, but I'll show you what I did with these today. So the first thing you're going to need to do, no matter how you decorate the leaves, is cut some out. So you will take this leaf template and you will take your tissue coffee filters, flatten them out as best you can. And then I found the best thing for me because the first time I tried to just cut everything out like this, you can do it. It's not the best way I know now, but you can do it that way. You're probably a better cutter than I am. That's why I'm not showing you how I cut because nobody needs to see that. But I did cut some out. I've got them, we're good. We'll go on from here, but here's the way I recommend more. I think you should take a pencil and trace around the template. And then when you have the outline, just cut it that way. You can cut these all together. You can cut them individually if you want, but I didn't have any trouble cutting through five of them. So I think you can do that. So that's your first step. Make sure that you cut out your leaves and then we'll go from there. So the first thing I did was to use watercolor and that was this leaf. This just had watercolor paint on it. So that's what I'm doing here. Now I was just using, whoops, just using some yellow and orange and red, just painting it on to make fall leaves. But you can use whatever colors you like. If you wanna make blue leaves or purple leaves, that's gonna look pretty too. So you can absolutely do that. But all I did was sort of swirl the colors all over here. Let me add some red. So I was just doing that. And I, when I made this leaf, I just put the colors all over and just let it dry and this is how it turned out. So if you wanna use watercolor, maybe you can do something like this. This is the one I did using markers. And it came out like this. The more water you put on, the lighter the colors will be and vice versa. So if you want it to be darker, don't use too much water. So we'll see how this one turns out. I already 
throw it all over it with just regular markers like these. And again, I use yellow and orange and red, but you can use whatever colors you would like. I swirled color all over. And now, this is the exciting part. Get to put the pipette on, or the water on with the pipette and see, see how it goes. So like I said, I colored it already. And I'm just gonna add some water and let it swirl around. I know, and this is the best part, because, well, I don't know how it's going to go. Maybe you would know, but to me, it's all different each time you do it, and that's why I like this craft. I think it's pretty fun. So I'm just going to try to swirl it around so it gets to the edges. I don't know. I think that looks pretty cool. What do you think? I'm going to put a little more water here and here on the edges, and... Now I have kind of a tie-dye leaf. So that's with markers. Might turn out kind of like this, might turn out different. Every leaf is different. <laughs> all my art is different. All your art will be different too. So I put the one with markers over here to dry. And on, on the ones that I did on the scrap paper, I wrote how I made it. This one says markers with water in case I wanted to try to do it again. I liked being able to see this was the techni technique I used on this leaf. So I'm gonna let that one dry, and now I'm gonna do the food coloring one. I don't know, this could be exciting, or maybe not, we'll find out. But this is the one I did before with food coloring. And I like this, it looks, it looks a lot like a leaf, I think. I mean, a leaf that you'd find outside. So I had food coloring, I had red and yellow, and you know what I'm gonna say, you can use whatever colors you want, but I was using red and yellow and mixing them together to have, to make orange and pretty much having a grand old time. So let's see how it goes this time. So I was just gonna put some yellow on. Let that swirl around a little bit. And then I'll try some red. it will make some orange spots, hopefully. <laughs> And then I'll just do some red. We'll see how this looks. You can see it's already starting to swirl by itself. But let's see what happens when we use the water. This is the most exciting craft ever, don't you think? I'm having fun. You might not have as much fun as I do, and that's okay. <laughs> I'm having enough fun for everybody. There, let me swirl this around a little bit. See how this will go. Ooh. Swirl it this way a little bit. There we go, I wanna get it to the edges too. Add a little more water, see how it goes. And there, got a brand new leaf. It might not be quite this dark when it dries, but I think it's still gonna look nice. So I hope you have fun making your leaves and I hope yours turn out well too. Thanks so much for watching. Now, if you have any pictures of this activity or the other Inquire Within activities that you would like to send us, please email them to us at kids at adamslib.org and please follow us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and YouTube to find out about the next two parts of the Inquire Within series for November. Thank you so much. Bye.